Okay guys, here is what I used to do my Carrera Marble countertops. I started with the gray that I painted my walls with. I also painted this table with it. I'll paint anything with anything. I'm not scared to play. Then this is just plain white. And then I mixed some gray and some white here and some gray and some white here just to get you some different colors. You want a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. And then I used a wadded up paper bag, a plastic bag from Walmart, a feather, a paintbrush, and a rag. Now this rag is, it's real stiff because it's what I always use to do like my caulking and stuff like that with. So it's kind of stiff. So just keep that in mind that you're gonna want kind of a, a stiff. I don't know how you'd go about getting that stiff rag because mine's gotten stiff, like I said, from working with it all this time. But those are the things I used. I don't have any of the sealer that I used. I will stick in a picture of what I used. I just don't have any right now on hand because I've used everything that I had. So let's get started. Okay guys, I've wet my rag that I had. So I'm gonna start with that, that wet. And uh, here's what I did. You're gonna wanna work in a hurry because that, to me that just works better if you work in a hurry. I take some of the, the gray with my feather and then, then I would just pull me some lines like this, just whatever. I'd make some coming off of it, make another one over here, just whatever you want to do. However you want the veining to look. You're just gonna play with that. Kind of place those veins where it, you know, kind of makes it look natural. I think with mine, I got a little bit too patterned. If I did it again, I wouldn't go maybe as patterned with mine. Like, see, I've got it all kind of going this way. When well, natural stone, it will, it does do that. So you don't want them going like in all different directions, but you also don't want to have a very like strict pattern. Next, I came back with my uh, paintbrush and I'm just gonna pick some of these paints up. Nothing, no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just gonna kind of play around with it, just dabbing it in. I'm gonna get up close to my veins to put some color in there. Because what you're really wanting to do is just do it, make the depth, make it look like it's got um, shading in there. I'm just laying down a really light, one of my light, the, one of my lighter colors. I'm just gonna come in all around that veining. And I'm just laying that color. Oops, I dripped some right there. And this is nothing, I mean, you shouldn't stress out about this. You just play with these colors until you come up with a, a look that you like. And if you don't like it, paint back over it and start over. Don't stress out about it, just, just keep on going. And then I come in with my uh, wadded up bag and then I just kind of went like this all over just to kind of blend it in with my veining. Hold your bag, make it not unwad. And then I just wanna, my board's making noise. We want to kind of lighten up this veining. We don't want it to be real dark. If you lighten it up, if you lighten it up too much while you're doing this, you can always come back and put some more in. Okay, and that's with my light color. I'm gonna come back in with one of my darker colors. This is white, so I'm gonna, the only reason I kept my gray and my white was if I got it a color I didn't like, I could come back in with that color. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my darker color and come in again up close to my veining and just daub that in. I'm staying close to the veining so that it'll be dark up close to it and then get lighter as it, as it moves away from the veining. I'm gonna take my bag again. I'm gonna wad it up to a different spot. 
And then I'm gonna come back and dab those spots. my feather. I'm going to rub almost all of it off and I'm going to kind of come back in here with a little bit of my veining, darken it up just a little bit. Now, you may want to, if you want to pick up some of your color when you put too much down, that's what I would use the rag for. Like if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to take up some of this, I would come in with my wet rag to remove some of that color like that. You can just work with it until you, it, you know, it's whatever look you like. Um, I don't like how I've got it so thick right here, so I'm going to come in and uh, work with this until I get it a little bit lighter. That's the finished board, guys. I just wanted to show you what it looks like done and this is what it looks like guys when you put your clear sealer on it these are my counters uh, I put 10 coats of the uh, polyurethane just so that they hold up because my family's not the best at taking care of stuff so I had to make sure it was very uh, durable uh, for that reason but see how shiny it leaves it Guys, it is so simple. I really hope you can give it a try. Thanks for watching. Here's this, um, hello. Excuse me, but don't do that while I'm doing my video. Anyway.